hello guys welcome and welcome back to my channel let us continue from where we left yesterday and uh, we are working on the cooking range from the layout we are working on the cooking range and uh, yesterday we we did the top part right we did the top framework part and the insert uh, infill tables and all that uh, if you didn't uh, watch the video you can as well go ahead and check it i will uh, pin the link in the description now today we are going to be making the structure the structure the framework uh, the reinforcement structure together with the legs then we will uh, if time allows we will do the panels the side panels and the front panels and all that right and now um, the, this is the top let us take a look this here is the structure and the structure is made of stainless steel uh, uh, grade 201 square hollow section of 50 by 50 right and uh, we are going to start with the top part which is a weldment we are going to do a weldment of the top part the dimensions might not be exact so we will adjust accordingly for it to fit uh, in accordance to our frame the one that we made yesterday so here from here let me measure from here up to here is around six, 15 16 normal distance is 15 16 so we'll see whether we'll do 15 10 and from here to here the normal distance is 25 15 around 25 15 so we'll also do 25 10 25 10 by 60 15 10 and see whether it will be fine so open new part click ok then go to the top plane and create a sketch there center rectangle from the origin and uh, give it a dimension of uh, uh, that one we have said it's 15 10 minus 50 15 10 minus 50 50 because uh, this is the uh, the center axis of the structural member this is 25 10 minus 50 that's okay exit the sketch then go to weldment go for structural member then uh, choose new no 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 before we go to the structural member uh, let us edit the sketch and input the middle member put a line at the center there because we also have a member running through the middle that looks fine to me now you can go to your weldment and go for structural member configuration here we have 40 by 40 by 4 millimeter i really don't know i need if anybody knows how i can update this to have all the sizes of the square tubes i really would appreciate but let me work with what is there which is 40 by 40 by 4 millimeter okay uh, so let me go for the new group this and this and this and this then i create a new group and go for the central member that's okay now uh, let me hide the sketch I'm sure there is something there that will be required of us to edit let us go for and see the 
measurement from here to here we said we wanted 1510 I'm sure it is smaller than 1510 because we subtracted uh, 40 millimeters so this is 1500 we might be required to add what is it 10 millimeter I don't know let me see we had it the sketch I think we should add 20 14 1480 by 24 it should be 25 2580 2580 see whether it will come to the size that we want we measure again we want here we want uh, 1510 1520 so let me subtract 10 millimeter edit sketch that was pretty obvious right 1470 by 25 70 There is no harm in making mistakes here and there. Uh, this we are going to call it, we save it, and uh, we, we are going to save as part number five, and call it range structure. wrong with me structure is written like that structure top now we want to do this part the leg part this part here this part and do the assembly yeah so this we are going to do 15 14 70 why why are we talking about 1470 1470 by what is the height the height from here to here is 250 it's around 250 so go to new new part click ok go to the right plane sketch new sketch then create your sketch as follows that's okay make these two lines equal and uh, make this part and the origin make them what coincident yes then smart dimension here we do 1470 1470 and this 250 that's okay exit the sketch and uh, go to weld demand structural member still 40 by 40 new group this this and this click ok let's see whether it is fine yeah it looks fine hide the sketch save it i don't know how we are what but we are going to call it part number 5a range structure range structure structure we call it base range structure base 
it's just a name to make you differentiate from uh, you know we go to new and start the assembly for the for the structure and we are going to put the structure top right click and make it float let us uh, do some matting the front and Met front and front plane of the assembly. I still didn't change a few things. That's why you see when I'm clicking on matting, you know, it is taking one mat and I have to repeat it all over again. And, and instead of doing just all the mats then once you click ok you exit you choose one to exit anyway that's good let us insert the base that's fine we met and we can go for the front plane and the f and which plane that plane and not that plane the not that plane and this plane click ok then uh, met again this should flash with this face click ok met again well uh, if you want you can do the whole structure uh, you can do the sketch for the whole structure then you start your weldment right uh, like I keep telling you guys there are different ways of doing this thing okay so let me choose this right plane and mirror component and component do I really have to do that no I don't I, uh, let me okay it's okay it's still okay I will come and edit the mirror. I realized no 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 no. I shouldn't have done I shouldn't have done that. That is wrong. So let us delete that mirror. Let us leave it at that. We save it as sub assembly sub assembly <laughs> sub assembly okay don't read your things man now uh, with that being created let us create this part the legs the legs and the legs is uh, 550 and the height of the leg let us check the height of the leg. This we are going to re-head it 530. We, once we insert it to the main assembly, we are going to edit it because the height, the total height of the range should be around 860 or 850. So the height of this is 530 by 550. And that this clearance is about 200 or some 175, 200 is I always like to maintain 200 I find 200 to be ideal to have good clearance for the purposes of cleaning so we are doing new part creating the legs we go back to right plane create new sketch line going like this like this like this and like this that's okay make these two lines equal and uh, this and uh, this we make them coincident then we do another line for the brace then we smart dimension this to 500 minus 40 500 minus 40 which is 460 uh, 
height of the leg is 530 530 and from the bracing you can do 2 160 160 plus 20 plus 20 not 160 but 1 but 220 220 yes that's okay exit the sketch go to weldments and structural member still 40 by 40 choose new group this this and this and another new group from the middle that's okay hide the the, the sketch and uh, let us measure this and see from here to down here is 200 millimeter that's good that ground clearance is good and we measure here see whether it is 500 there is no harm even if it is slightly big there is no harm but it is 500 that's good now we say this as part number 5b 5b call it range well, again range legs that's good we go to the sub assembly and do our assembly again insert the legs met this face flashes with this face and the top part of the leg sits on this part here that's good then we go for front plane met we are going to met that with the, the leg can we collapse this we go for the legs and I think yes front part that's good now 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 Can we do linear component and see whether it will work? Yes, in that direction. This was 14, 1470. And we do two. And we choose component to linear. It should be this. And this. Why? 20. It should be 25, 10, 25, 70, not 14, 25. It is sitting pretty. That's nice. That is absolutely good. Now, uh, let me go for the for the top part where is it that's about that okay we are going to have some few problems which I'm trying to think how we are going to do this because yeah let me I okay I want to insert this other part this part here but I don't want to give it 570 525 because when you look at this range here 715 the griddle here was one half ribbed and half smooth 
and there is a panel here for the ribo for the for the griddle and this is almost in a straight line with this so the panel the side the front panel for the four burner low pressure should have a panel and the controls for the the gas taps and also here so mine i will put it in the middle i have seen it will work okay don't worry about that we will come to it when we start our you will see when we start our assembly uh, when we start the panels right now let me start base that base is there and uh, met it uh, this flashes with this that's good met again not that side but this top and this they are flashing then I will go for not the right plane what plane is that let me collapse all this what I don't need yes that right plane I will met it with the right plane of the new uh, this member here right plane so that it sits right at the middle of the structure that's look that looks good and i will insert again insert leg i shouldn't have done that actually i should have linear components and you know go for half of 2550 i don't know whether it will work 2570 divided by 2 you are going to get what 2570 divided by 2 we are going to get 1285 1285 yes and component to linear should be this yeah that's good so we shouldn't have inserted uh, that component there we should have you know linear but hey it's still okay now if you want let's see how the structure looks like that structure is okay the only thing that we are going to put is this bracing at the middle but uh, it looks good if you want uh, you can add some more reinforcement which i don't find them necessary uh, that is if you want uh, let us evaluate and see from this to this is 12.45 so we are creating that structure that brace in there go to file new part okay and we should go for which right plane line as uh, new sketch create a line 14 we have seen it's 14 25 the middle part made it with the make it from the origin make them coincident and this 14 25 14 25 click ok exit the sketch then go to weld mens and create that create that structural member that's nice like i was saying instead of doing this how did we do this it's still okay we are going to rotate it save as part number five c range bracing well if you feel like you are in position to create uh, 
this whole sketch you can do the whole sketch then do your weldment from there it will be nice and easy for you range brace in then we rotate it on the y axis that's good we met uh, this top part here to this that's nice met again this face here touches on this face I remember looks a bit longer I don't know what I was measuring here then I will go for the front plane met it with the front plane of the bracing the right plane of the bracing yeah so that it runs right in the middle can we evaluate let us save first then we are going to evaluate 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 and measure here I don't know I keep forgetting things very easily why for 1245 did I get 14 from 1245 now if you want you can edit this from from the sub assembly mm. go for this sketch We edit in the sketch 1245, 1245, exit the editing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, I think. Uh, you can choose the right plane and mirror and do some mirroring and the component to be mirrored is this one and right click and it goes to the right place and yes the structure is ready only thing that you're going to do is put bracings there are different ways of put, uh, different types of legs that you can use for your cooking range this is just one of them uh, in future we are going to design other ranges other cooking ranges with different components and different designs and all that we insert and what we are inserting is the sub assembly of the structure so if we had to met this and we go for let me collapse a few things here till I get to what I want. My sub assembly, I go for the front plane, then uh, not divider, not a divider, not a divider. No. Yes, this I look for the front plane I feel like that is good because it should be at the middle there then I met again this the top of the structure should be sitting on this top let me hope that everything will be hunky dory and then still uh, the infill that right plane I met it with the right plane of the of the structure yes that one now I hope all is well is there anything that is protruding yes why okay 
now you as you can see our our structure is very big it's bigger than and the range so we are going to go for the structure and edit that why is it that it is big we'll evaluate and see from here to here that is 25 43 and our structure is from here now let me clear this from here to here is 2610 20, a difference of what 2610 minus 25 25 43 a difference of 67 let us reduce it by 65 so we go back to range structure and edit the sketch edit reduce this by 65 Min sorry minus 65 this is solidworks saving the day solidworks saving the day yes do we have a problem Why do we have a problem? Oh, okay. I've seen the problem. If we can go to the structure and edit, edit linear, linear component, linear pattern one, we edit and reduce this by minus 65. Yes, that's good. Also, we open this and edit. We reduce it by 65. Sketch. Minus 65. Solidworks saving the day, right? Um, let us see whether the structure is good. Yes. Mm, no, no. What happened here? Mm. Also this, this linear structure here, which one? Linear pattern two. We need to edit it and reduce it with 65 millimeter. Are we reducing with 65 or half of 65? I think we are supposed to re reduce with half of 65. What is half of 65? 65 divided by 2. That is 32.5 plus here 32.5. Yes. And uh, also this one we are going to add 32.5. The B 
beauty of I, I keep praising SOLIDWORKS SOLIDWORKS and INVENTOR the beauty, I don't know about INVENTOR I have not used INVENTOR for quite some time actually I have never liked INVENTOR I don't know because I knew how to work with SOLIDWORKS before I knew to work with the INVENTOR I don't know yeah I was trying to write that sketch I'll go to the structural member and see the the whole thing. It's still big. It's still big. It's still big. So we can reduce it. Hey, that's a lot of work. We should have reduced it by 10. 5 millimeters on both sides. So let us... Don't get tired. Keep telling you, get your thing right once and for all. Or 15 millimeter. To be on the safe side, let us reduce with 15 millimeter. Or through 15 millimeter. Exit that. Then we will go to this. Yes. Linear pattern one. We reduce it with 15 millimeter. Minus 15 millimeter. Yes. And that being the case, linear two. Edit, we reduce it by half of 15.5, which is uh, by 15, half of 15, which is 7.5. That's good. Then we edit this and reduce the sketch with uh, 7.5 Min minus 7.5 now I'm sure this should be good and uh, I don't think we should be having any other trouble okay it shouldn't pro Tribute on the panels where are we yes now our structure is in there as you can see there are few things that you will need to do with the structure you will need to notch where necessary yeah like with the side you need to notch here and uh, this also you will need to do some notching this side you will need to do some notching these are things that you do with the grinder when you are doing the assembly the welding yeah but so far so good the structure looks cool let us save it and we go ahead and close all these other parts which we don't need now we can start working on the panels close all this yes now our first panel will be for this side then we will be right the other side actually the panels are enough uh, are equal right which should be what from here to here is 1205 let me note it some where 1205 uh -huh. that's good uh, how does the panel look like here is the profile of the front panel where is it this this one uh, let me take this and isolate it copy move it out so we have uh, 
at this kind of a panel this is what this is say 50 150 and here is 50 at a degree the degree here is 160 mm, let me see yeah it's 160 1 170 right around there so we'll start with the 50 and this is 20 is this 20 20 or 25 20 so going to new part click ok part ok mm -hmm. front plane sketch center rectangle the size is 1205 is it 1205 where did i not 12 1205 1205 and the height here is 50 50 mil go to sheet metal base flange the side panels should be 1.2 millimeter thick create a, an edge flange down there of 20 mil and condition blind size is 20 millimeter click ok then another edge flange Grind that direction blind 15 or 10 then create an edge flange the here and uh, the degree should be 170 minus 90 that is good and blind 150 is the height that's okay I don't know whether this front panel should be like that I have a bad feeling about this and that this should be parallel to to this face on the other direction yes on that direction and this should be a blind of 50 millimeter click ok then we have an edge flange here of 20 going to the inside of 20 that's good and finally an edge flange on this side of uh, 15 that 30 degree I am not happy about it it looks so stiff can I do 60 mm, it is yes this edge flange I edit it and make this 60 no 60 is way too big yeah 15 looks good yes yes that degree is good let me check the height the total height of this panel shouldn't be more than 200 to 300 235 is good so go ahead and save this as front panel and uh, part number six sorry call it range front panel now we go back to our sub assembly and insert the front panel we met 
this face should flash with this face um, met again this no clear this face should be touching this face and by the way that height we might be required to change it a little bit met this face here should flash with this face Yeah, the gap up here is okay for aeration but the degree is not okay because the panel is going inside so we will be forced to change that degree that degree is pretty much slanting <coughs> let me edit this panel and go for this edge flange here and edit I gave it a degree of 15 15 looks big can we do an of 7.5 yeah yes that's good even the panel looks looks a little bit better much more better than the way it was with that degree yes and it is within the the square tube sure that's good like i was saying you need this gap for hydration the cookers and all that you know the panels shouldn't be touching the top otherwise if you want it touching the the top part you will be required to do some some openings mm. yeah some pattern holes punch some holes uh, to enable you to do what to enable you to to enable you know the the cooking range to be having a lot of you know hair circulation to support combustion because there will be some deep dress down here and there is this for uh, side panel which will be blocking all the way you know you need aeration yeah i want to linear pattern this and linear patterning it it is 12 for 5 plus 40 let me see whether it will work linear component linear component in which direction in this direction uh 12 12 for 5 plus 40 12 45 yeah actually this is good let's see whether it will work sure it has worked i don't know if i mirror whether it will be good which plane are we supposed to mirror it against sub assembly yes the front plane we mirror and see whether the but i shouldn't have done that okay I shouldn't have done that. Actually, I will be required to change all that. Because these panels should be different. The openings for the the holes for the deep tray here for the gridos are different from the openings for the control the gas taps for the high pressure and low pressure let me see yeah this is good so these panels let me just delete them that mirror component i delete and this linear pattern i delete yes I will be forced to insert those pattern those those uh, panels alone alone so I will save this save this save as new and uh, copy and open I will call it part number 6a 
range front panel uh, fryer side fryer side the first one is for the grido side let me insert that insert fryer side okay met this face flashes with this that's good met again this and this are same size met again base touches touches this yeah that's good now I will still go back and uh, save that front panel as a new copy and 6b and call it L low pressure side LP side same size and everything nothing is changing even the, di the dimension and all that is not changing then I will insert it low pressure side and I will be required to rotate it on the y axis like that then I will do my matting and this time around this face flashes with this face and met again this face flashes with this face I didn't want to, to mirror it or linear component and once I start uh, punching holes to one uh, for the different openings then I will be having all sorts of problems but with each panel being each visual there will be no issue okay let me now save the last part which is for the high pressure side save as part number 6c 6c and i will call it high pressure side hp side uh, i'll go back and insert the high pressure side where is it where is it insert component hp side rotate on the y axis that's good then i met and as usual this flashes with this and i believe I have done a mistake someplace which needs to be corrected. Met again. This and this. Met again. Uh, this and this. Now, what am I saying? Uh, you see here, this square tube is visible. It shouldn't be. So one of the panels, they should meet on one side. Either this should be longer. Is it so? Let me go for the AutoCAD drawing and see how the panels are not visible yeah you see it has hedge flanges on this side so 
I really think um, we will change something in the process we will change something one of these panels should be longer we should add 40 millimeter to it so that it it hides this tube this square tube shouldn't be seen they should come and meet somewhere here your joint this joint should be here so that the square tube is hidden we'll revisit that later you know in my country uh, when people lose elections and uh, the judgment <coughs> they go to supreme court and they uh, and the court uh, gives a ruling that is what is happening in my country right now and they give a ruling and it goes uh, doesn't go the way of a particular party there's a term which has been used here we shall revisit you know try to punish the judiciary <laughs> because they didn't rule in your in your favor eh? uh, it has been made in my country that some politicians, it's a matter of life and death. You have to get this seat by all means. This is the panel that we want to to create. <laughs> the side panel. Yeah, like if you are not on the ballot, if, if you have not won in my country, some people assume that you are not man enough. You know you should win by all means so we want to create how that height and what is this what is this From here to here is 550 and what is the top what is the from the top from here to here is four or five so we will need to create a sketch of uh, let me write it down the profile of that sketch should be uh, 550 total light is 405 and for the vertical part is 245 yes uh, the length we will evaluate length 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 evaluate measure from here it was from that to this it's 1510 1510 then we'll create the edge flanges Uh, go to file create new part so guys and what really amazes me is that these politicians they are always so rich you might start wondering what are they really fighting for That's the profile. Uh, this line and this line. Are they supposed to be equal? Yes. This line and this line are also supposed to be equal. No, 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 no. Okay. We will rectify this line and this line. That point and that point and this point should be vertical. There is one line here which is not doing me. Delete this. Yeah, so delete this. <coughs> Instead of having all these troubles, why can't I do this? Create a center line there. Click OK. 
then I take this line and the base line and the mirror them and mirror them about the center line that center line that's good now I start my smart dimension this we have said it's what 1510 15 let's do 1512 no 1510 I feel like 1512 and this should be 250 245 245 yeah and this should be 550 that's nice and the overall height should be 450 we shall see um i'm not sure about that overall height might be it might require some changing that's good now hedge flange this should be around 41 that edge flange you know you you gotta make sure that the square tube is completely hidden yes and condition blind size 41 millimeter that's good then uh, we create an edge flange here of 15 millimeter to the top 15 millimeter there is nothing you're hiding there then uh, another edge flange of about 15 or 10 millimeter all the way around So, politicians, politicians, I thank God I never became a politician, something that has never even crossed my mind at any given time, you know how you become a politician and I don't know, maybe it's their calling. My side panel looks good. Save, save it as side panel. That is part number seven. Side panel. Let me add my range. Side panel. Why do I keep always having it caps? Then we insert in the assembly insert side panel this is the part this is the height that I'm talking about might not be correct but we shall see we met this should touch this yeah in the side panel you don't have it's not a must you you have uh, what we call gap for hydration but should you feel like you need one just create it yes then uh, oh, that we met with met with that side panel I don't know whether the the plane is right we shall find out whether the plane is right yes see we are good we are good only a very small thing here this shouldn't be 250 we will make it 255 and uh, also this panel here should come how far should it go that to light should be up to this 
let me see from the no it's good it is good only that small thing we are going to change here to 55 this we edit this sketch and instead of making it no it should be 250 250 not 350 250 Yes. See the square tube is covered completely here. That is why I was telling you and this panel is meeting with it is also covering the square pan it is wrapping around the square tube there. So that is why I was saying you, know, you also need to you know hide this square tube. It shouldn't be visible. It shouldn't be visible. Nobody should see whether there is any structure. Actually they should see the legs and you know maybe the bracing. I don't know if I mirror this, it will come the upside down, right? So let me just insert another component and uh, rotate it on the y-axis again and met it as so met. This mets with this face cover the square tube and this height to that make sure they are on the same what's going on no no no, no. I do. that's the problem with this all it works I did I changed this so I'm thinking I'm doing a certain operation and the operation has already finished its operations now remember there are notches that you will need to do accordingly see like here in this bend you need to notch for that square tube yeah uh, those are obvious things that you need not to be told by anybody when you insert your panels and you find that there is something that needs to be notched go ahead please and do the necessary yes and our range the range is good the range is good now the openings for the the deep tray for the grid oak the opening for the uh, deep fat fryers, uh, you know, drain oil, and for the gas taps for the high pressure cooker and the low pressure cooker, the, the low pressure burners, we will do them once we have done the, the components, right? So we will revisit this, take the panels, do the openings, and, you know, do the necessary with that being said i feel like it's a good point to stop there today we will start with our individual components later on our next video so guys have yourself a brilliant day and for my fellow members of my country you know well, whichever the direction the supreme court will take let us maintain peace. There is no point of fighting each other, you know. And these politicians, once they are sent to power, they are not going to change your life directly unless you are, you are related to them in one way or another. Why should you go and fight for them? Why should you go to the streets and throw stones and, you know, it's not necessary let them fight their own battles in court and actually we are so tired we want the whichever government ascends to power to take its position and do their thing you know as we do our our thing also out here so peace brother and we are really 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 praying for peace in our country have yourself a good day see each other in our next
video.